Good Sunday morning, everybody. Little bit of a different vlog today. Mama deer here and that kiddo you guys don't see much anymore <laughs> she's doing the adult life thing yeah, she is going nice. to college and working mom finally found her a place to rent and she is we are coming to find some furniture and That's some true. things that she is going to need for her house and we're going to get lunch but i figured i'd bring you guys along for the day as soon as we walked in the door mom she said oh it's so pretty <laughs> we're trying to convince her to keep moving there's a whole big old store to look <laughs> Well, what do you think? Thumbs up. What do you think, sis? I think I it's like beautiful. Them. I do. I like she decided to go on this living room suit. It's got the wooden feet and the buttons, or whatever you call them, but it's got frame. steel frame. And it's got storage under there. Okay. Fancy, fa really? oh, and he said it also comes with all the pillows, so. I like those. Yeah, too. me too. I think it's beautiful, though. I love it. All right, you guys, there is the tables that mom found to go with her living room suit. Got a little drawer, storage, and it matches the living room suit perfect. Now we gotta find you a bed. Mattress. Lay in some beds. That's easy to do. I can take a nap. I know. Y'all don't feed me, or I don't feed us, I'm gonna croak. Lord have mercy. I'm hungry. But I just wanted to take a minute and say, how proud I am of my mama, you guys. My dad, it's only been eight weeks and she got flung into a whole new life without him. You know, 47 years is a long time. And my dad was a very strong man and decision maker. He was a boss, you know, and she's doing great. She is, I'm just proud of her because, you know, it's been hard. And to see her happy and clapping her hands when she picked her living room suit and stuff out makes my heart smile. But, Mama, when you see this, I just want you to know that I'm very proud of you. And you are a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for. Mama got her living room suit, her tables, her bed, and what else? An extra chair that she loved. As soon as we walked in the door, she seen it, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Her mind was on it. But she got all that stuff, and before we continue, we're all hangry. So yeah. we're going to go in Reno's here and get us, hopefully... Some good barbecue ribs. Some good barbecue ribs. Good but food. I might change my mind up once we get in there. We just got to see the menu. Let's go get some food. And dessert. And yeah. dessert. <laughs> we're celebrating. We're celebrating. <laughs> We're still waiting, y'all, but we were sitting here talking about how it is almost cheaper to come to a nice restaurant and eat now than it is to go to fast food. How crazy is that? It really is. For us, anyways, where we live, it's cheaper to go eat at a good restaurant than go to Dairy Queen or McDonald's. I mean, it's crazy. It's craziness. So, why not just go eat the good food? Gonna pay the same price nowadays, right? Oh, this makes me so happy. Look how fluffy and freaking beautiful. Summer is creeping even closer and I cannot wait. That's it. Like I am just busted, y'all. I don't know why I do this to myself and I don't get a to-go box and take it home. I'm totally gut busted. Like I don't know what it is. I have to finish my food. That's just, I don't know if it's my OCD or what, you know, but I just, I have to. And I really wish I could learn not to because I can barely breathe right now. But anyhow, now we are going to go to possibly Lowe's and maybe look for rugs. She wants to get her a rug for the living room and uh, her kitchen. And then she needs curtains because it has big glass doors and she wants to get curtains up there. Stuffers for their basket and mom still has to find a few more things. So we got some more shopping to do. My bad, I totally forgot the camera when we went in Lowe's. Mom did find her a cute rug, but now I have got to find my babies. Easter basket, Easter backpack stuffers. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully I can find everything in here because we're getting tired. We're getting chopped out. <laughs> Almost. Tired yet, Nanny? 
I know yeah, I'm you good. ain't tired. <laughs> I could go all day long. She's like her Amy. Oh my God, can you look at the peep shoes? They got peep house oh shoes. God. I'd about get myself a pair. That is too flipping cute. That would be fun for outside. Yeah. Oh, oh that's pretty. That is cute. Look at, look at all the cute Easter dresses. Hair clip. Pearl hair clip. Oh. This one has a purse look. That's so cute. Some of them's got hats. These got hats. Me too. Okay, first score of the day. Got Play-Doh with the bunny and chick stampers. Look how cute this is, you guys. Bumblebee bowling. They look wood and it feels pretty heavy, but tabletop bowling, that would be a fun little game. I was thinking about maybe getting Chloe these. Unicorn, everything with that child and their pink. And then I was thinking about this flom stuff and then I got to thinking, these balls, this is probably not the best. And if you don't buy good flom, these balls get everywhere, so. Y'all, I love seeing all the little mushroom stuff. So flipping cute. I was thinking about getting this one. It's only $12 to put outside. This is really pretty. Little cookie jar. I'm not that into Easter though enough to buy a giant cookie jar and try it out. But look at the pink mushroom. Is it just me? Or is anybody else out there? Anytime you try to go anywhere, it's wild. Wild. All right, we're getting ready to go to Lowe's. Hey, little pigtail girl. Oh, she just poked herself. Oh gosh, are you okay? Oh no. These kids are a walking bruise because of just things like that. I'm telling you. Ready to go get some garden oh, no. stuff? Ah! Yes, it's almost garden season, y'all. It, it, it's here, pretty much. I got two fig trees right now. I'm just trying to figure out where to put them. Hey, Bubba. And I just got hit in the things that don't need to be hit. Ow. We're gonna go We're see gonna go them. See the chickens. <laughs> she is ready to see the baby chicken jaw. My hair's a mess, but I got to go to the ladies' room real quick. That's what I get for chugging a bottle of water. Baby chickens. You want the baby chickens? You're gonna love it. Daddy got to get us a place, so we're gonna get some chickens. You ready to see the chickens? Daddy. You ready? Daddy. Okay. You want Daddy, Mommy, get some chickens soon? You. How would you like chickens at the house? Would you Daddy, like to have Daddy. chickens at the house? Mm -mm. No. Are you sure? Just one. Just one. You cannot. You can't just Daddy. have one. You gotta have a few, four or five, six. That's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. And that you know what those few will turn into? They'll turn into more baby Daddy. chickens. Cause we gotta get a rooster too. You ain't sure about it, are you? It's that sound. <laughs> oh my God! Look, look at the giant rooster, y'all. We got a five-foot rooster. Let me show y'all the size. So this is at least a five-foot rooster. Oh my God, Sean, look at the gnome. Sissy, look, it's got a flower too. Look, Mommy. Look, 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 look. That is so cool. I love the purple Oh man, are you excited? Oh, look at the babies. I want one in the hand. Old Faithful Chick, Rhode Island Reds. Sissy, what is that? Chickens. Oh, baby chickens. Baby chickens? Yeah. I want one. You grab one in my hand? No, I don't think you can hold them. Should we get some chickens? Do we need we some make chickens? Them a house first. Do you know where eggs come from, Sissy? Eggs come from chickens. What is it? She wants to hold one. I know, so bad. What is that? Glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
strawberry rhubarb. It's the, you know, it's the break and make a mess. We gotta leave these. Cart. What'd you get, Granny? <laughs> apple butter. Ooh, apple butter. These are my absolute favorite pretzels ever. Mm. All the popcorn stuff. Oh, that. Oh, yum. If we're gonna hate. <laughs> oh my god. The you found one like that, you, you have to just end your hunt. That's oh, it. and look how cute right beside of it. I am absolutely obsessed, you all look. It's got the eggs in the hay and the chicken wire. A cute chicken, an old rooster lives here. Y'all already know, do we even have to tell you where we're at getting grub right now? Sean's a repeat eater, doesn't like to try anything new, but hey, I'm not mad about Texas Roadhouse because I love it too. This is the carnivore in me. Should I tell him, y'all? What? I already got butter on my finger. Should I tell him? <laughs> you had it right here. You got the butter again. Granny, are you excited? I am. I'm we had. I'm hungry. Had to make the pit stop at the roadhouse. Y'all know that I can't have it. I was hungry. We're off to Lowe's now. Time to get some dirt, a little bit of rock, a few little things we gotta get here and there. Uh, get ready to put some plants in the ground. I mean, who don't like to go to Lowe's? I love going to Lowe's. My wife loves going to Lowe's, so go to Lowe's with us. Bubba, where are we? Are we at Lowe's? Come here, Bubba. Jeez. Bubby, look, I see a frog. Come here. Is that a frog? Does it smell good? What about the yellow? Yellow. What's this smell like? Smell good? I think it does too. It smells very yellow, don't it? Wet. Yeah, it's wet. That's just uh, a metal platform where they set the flowers. Well, we'll go. What kind of smoker you want? I want that one over in the corner that you can crank the poles up and down. Go over and look at it. I'm back. Hey, you two got driver's license? You got a driver's key. license? Key! <laughs> that key probably cost you about $4,000. Hey. He likes this smoker. Two, but I think he's wanting something like this. We'll see soon. We'll see. You ever decided about buying an electric tiller? A little small one to do those small projects? This little spot took about two hours. So if you got that intrusive thought going through your head, just go buy one that uses gasoline. It'll save you a whole lot of work, I promise. We went to the grocery store the other day and got a new bag of potatoes and I noticed uh, we got home our old bag was sprouting ice. I was like, there ain't no sense. There ain't no sense in wasting them taters. Let's make some more potatoes from them. Potatoes, one of the easiest plants you can probably grow. Trust me, you don't have to have a green thumb. Plants want to grow. They want to live. They want to thrive. You ain't got to do much. Nature will take care of itself, I promise you. I'll probably be giving out a lot of taters to Mom and Megan's mom. And Whoever wants some taters, I'll probably have a few extra. I know somebody, you yeah, yeah. ain't doing that right. You know what? You can grow potatoes in a pile of hay. There ain't no right way to do it. All right, now on to these grow bags. I had posted a picture on Facebook that we was going to be using these this year, and so many people said, I hope you have better luck with them than I did. All my plants died. 
And I asked him, I said, how did you set your soul up? And he was like, what do you mean we just put dirt in it? There's the reason if you've ever used these grow bags, you have to use some gravel in the bottom of them so your water has a place to go and it just doesn't sit there. Because if it's sitting in the bag on the ground, there's not going to be much leaching done there. So if you put gravel in the bottom of your bag, it's going to do like the actual ground. See, when you grow in things like this and totes, you have to have places for water to go and move because the ground naturally you know, soaks off its water in the streams or it goes deeper into deep water sources. So you always have to make sure you set your bag up right. Like I said, all that consists of doing is just taking your bag, put you about almost an inch of rock, bottom of your bag like that right there, and that gives the water a place to leach off. Now as far as the dirt goes, for me, I take one bag of cow manure, two bags of garden soil. I mean, you can, dig that up if you want out of the ground. I was going to, but with that little tiller back there in the woods trying to dig in all that hard rocky soil. I'm not beating myself to death, so I went ahead and pop me some garden soil. I'll take my one bag of cow manure. Now I just start mixing this all together. All chopped up and blended good. I'll be back with you in a minute. Did you help mix it up? Did you, did you mix it good? Now, sis, what we gotta do is gotta put it in a bag. You get a shovel. You start filling your bag up. Is it cow poop, sis? Yeah. Me, me, me! Cow poop. Cow poop. Cow poop. Cow poop. Cow poop. Is it cow poop? Yep. Don't mix up cow poop. Put it in your hand. Is that gross? Well, ew! Is it poop? Ew! Is it cow poop? Yeah. Ew! <laughs> and now all you gotta do, Ew. add your tomato Ew. plant, your cucumbers, whatever you want, one by one, your peppers, add them right into it, and boom! Ew. That's how you make a grow bag work. I'll keep y'all updated.